When it comes to the subject physics, I would say this is the subject which will decide your rank in the NEET 2025. Okay, because this is the subject at which maximum number of students lag over there. I would say 80 to 85 percent students are able to score good in biology. They are able to score good in, we say, chemistry, because I have seen a lot of students out there coming to us again and again, every single time saying, sir, I'm good at biology, I'm good at chemistry, I'm scoring well in the mock test. But when it comes to the physics, I lag over there. So that's why the student who are able to score good in the physics, they will get the medical college, they will enter the medical college. And that's why we say physics is the subject which is going to decide your rank, which will decide whether you will enter the medical college or not. Now, there are a lot of students saying, sir, if we focus completely on biology and chemistry and we'll get, we say, minimum marks in the physics, sir, is it possible for us to enter the medical college? I would say no. Recently, you have seen what was the cutoff? 650, 640, okay, 660. So this was the cutoff in the open category and general category. And now you guys see, if you focus on only two subjects, do you think it is possible for you to enter the medical college? No. So you have to make your all the three subjects equally strong. And, and uh, we say, we say among all the three subjects, when it comes to the physics, we say this is going to decide the competition. Because maximum number of students, they lag over here. Only I would say 15 to 20 percent students, they are good at physics and they get the good marks over here and then they enter the medical college. Now in this particular session, my dear friends, I'll be telling you what are the things which you guys need so that you can get the perfect score in the physics, okay? I have mentioned over here 180 out of 180 in physics. If not 180, how do we get 170 plus? How do we get 175 plus? That's what we are going to discuss in this particular video. Make sure you follow this till the end and you share this video with all your friends out there and smash the like button as soon as possible. Guys, see, there are some common questions that we have over here regarding the perfect score in the physics. Is it possible to score 180 out of 180 in need physics? How many examples I can give you? I can give you tons and tons of examples of those students who have done this before, okay? So it is not an impossible task. It is a. It is something which is achievable, which we can do, that's for sure. Because a lot of students have done it before. So if they have done it, why cannot you? Next question we have over here, is it possible to score 180 out of 180 in the limited time? Since we have only six months left, sir, is it possible for me to get the perfect score? If not 180 out of 180, can I get 170 plus in the need physics in this limited time? My dear friends, I will be telling you the answer of this particular question after some time, okay? Next we have over here, do you need to go beyond the NCRT syllabus to score 180 out of 180? As you might have seen, last time there were some controversial questions when it comes to the physics, okay? But we got the bonus for those controversial questions. So, let me just tell you, you don't have to go beyond NCRT, okay? You don't have to do the J mains previous year questions, not at all. I am telling you, my dear friends, you guys are supposed to stick to the NCRT and, sir, in NCRT, what are the things I'm supposed to do? What are the questions I'm supposed to do? Do I have to read the NCRT line by line? That also we'll discuss over here. And one more important thing, sir, what are the modules that you suggest so that we can get the perfect score in the neat physics, okay? So that also we will be discussing in this particular video. And then we have, is coaching necessary to score 180 out of 180 in physics? Guys, Physics is the subject which is going to decide your rank. And this is among all the three subjects, if we see the toughest, tougher one, we say that is physics. So is coaching mandatory? This also, you'll be getting the answer of this question in the same video. Now, guys, what is the first thing? Okay, okay, one more thing. Is it worth aiming for a perfect score in physics? I started the video with the same question. Because if you get the good score in the physics, you will enter the medical college. If not, there are very less chances that you are going to crack this neat examination. Now, my dear friends, how do we achieve it? How do we make it happen? The very simple and the master approach, okay? I won't be telling you some complicated things over here. The simple and the master approach over here is, first and the foremost thing is the conceptual clarity, okay? Sit with the teacher. Who makes you understand the concept in a very nice manner from the scratch, from the basics? Because without the conceptual clarity, it is impossible for you to solve the questions from the physics. If you are not able to solve the questions from the physics, you will not get the perfect score in physics. That's for sure. Okay. Then you have 
special attention to the high weightage topics like we have electrostatics we have we say current electricity we have uh, ray optics we have modern physics you guys are supposed to give the special attention to those high weightage topics because see this is a step-by-step -step process if you want to achieve the maximum score if you want to achieve 180 out of 180 or 170 plus in your uh, physics then first you have to achieve the score which can which can help you to enter the safe zone like first you should focus on these high weightage topics which will help you to gain maximum marks because this is going to boost your confidence in the examination hall if you are able to score good initially then only there are very high possibilities that you will be scoring good in the other chapters which are having the less weightage as compared to these chapters so that's why first and the foremost you have to prioritize the syllabus so these are the high weightage topics these are the moderate weightage topics these are the low weightage topics first priority you have to give these high weightage topics then go on to the moderate then go on to the low weightage that's why i'm saying if we do not get the 180 out of 180 still there are chances we can get 170 plus and that is if you follow the proper sequence okay and one more important thing is formula mastery when it comes to the physics my dear friends they won't mix two or three concepts okay like je and will make a question and put up in front of you no that is not possible the questions are very simple formula based okay in some questions you might have to use your brain one or two questions which is going to decide the rank but we say 95 percent questions will be exactly formula based that's what we have been seeing from the past few years okay so so make sure you make a proper formula sheet of all the chapters separately theory is separate concepts are separate problems are separate but when it comes to the formula mastery you have to make the separate formula sheet so that every single formula keep, uh, is stick in your mind so tomorrow when you read the question in the examination hall it should not like i'll derive the formula first and then i'll solve no that is going to waste you a lot of time at that point of time while you are reading the question immediately the formula should come in your mind and you should apply it and get the answer of that particular question that's what we call the formula mastery very much important even in modern physics electrostatics it's all about the formulas okay then you have the speed if you are having good conceptual clarity formula mastery is also done but your speed is less this is going to basically create the chaos in the examination hall because because you won't be able to solve the enough number of questions in physics if your speed is low sir how can we increase the speed and accuracy the only thing is the practice okay i would recommend you to solve the simple questions first then you increase the level of the questions go on to the level two then go on to the level three okay do not go and, and open a book of Jane mains or advance sir i'll solve the question this question initially uh, even if uh, at that point of time even if your conceptual clarity is also very strong but still you have to solve the easy questions first then increase the level increase the level because that is going to boost your confidence and that will help you to increase the speed okay then my dear friends note taking note taking plays a very important role when it comes to when it comes to we say getting the perfect score in physics we say there are first there are i have categorized it in two categories the first one is the lecture notes these are the notes which you take in the class like you are in my batch while i am teaching in the batch you are taking the notes you are noting down every single thing whatever i tell you in the class that is the lecture notes then afterwards you have the revision notes once you do the revision of all those lectures of the complete chapter you will have to make the separate notes okay and these revision notes should be very concise okay everything should be mentioned in a very nice manner in a very sophisticated manner in that in those revision notes okay keep that in because at the end moment when you have to revise a chapter in a very short duration like five minutes six minutes at that point of time these are the notes which will help you and these are the notes which which from which you can make the revision notes you can do the revisions okay and then my dear friends summarize key concepts you should be able to figure out what are the key concepts of all 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 the chapters and you should make a separate we say kind of a playlist okay and a, a separate notebook for that in which you should mention the key concepts okay that is also important okay and add the personal insights so these are the small let's suppose you are having the doubt in any particular concept okay so try to mention in the bracket over there uh, a small 
uh, we say a sentence in your own language you can do that also so that you can remember all of those concepts okay so main thing is revision notes we say lecture notes okay and then speed formula mastery special attention to the high weightage topics and conceptual clarity these are the important points that i have mentioned over here now if people say sir what are the books we are supposed to follow over here we say ncrt examples are more than sufficient okay we say and the exercise whatever is mentioned in the exercise so a lot of people ask me sir am i supposed to read the ncrt line by line for the physics i would say not required so examples and exercise from the ncrt is sufficient PYQs, previous year questions are highly important when it comes to, when it comes to, we say, need physics, okay? And then we say teacher notes, the number of questions which I solo in the class, which teacher solos in the class, so you guys are supposed to take the notes of those, okay? And coaching modules, like if you are in the unacademy's batch, okay? We give you the unacademy's material and every problem pattern is mentioned in, those, in, in, in that material. So we say, my dear friends, you are supposed to basically go with that. So coaching material, that's the unacademy modules if you are in our batches, okay? Teacher's notes, PYQs and NCRT examples and exercise. No need to go with the other books, okay? This is more than sufficient, I am telling you, my dear friends. Okay, now, 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 now. Now the question is, now the question is, sir, sir, how do we exactly make it happen? Sir, how can you help us so that we can score maximum when it comes to the need physics. I have given you the answer to all the questions. Now the question is, how do we exactly help you? Okay, because a lot of students of mine have done this before with, with my I under my guidance. So similarly, my dear friends, from 16th onwards, we have recently launched a batch. A lot of students have already enrolled, but some of the students were still confused. Sir, whether we should take this batch or not. This is the NEET Avengers Fast Track batch for NEET UG 2025, okay? And, and this batch is starting from 16th of December. In this batch, Vaseem sir will be teaching the complete chemistry and some of the portion will be teaching taught by HSP sir. I'll be taking the complete physics and I'll start with the 11th portion in this one. And then Ambika ma'am will be teaching you the biology in this batch. And this is starting from 16th onwards. Not only the questions, not only the theory, DPPs, modules, every single thing, tests will be basically taken over here in this particular batch, okay? All the details I have mentioned exactly over here, okay? Practice with variety. Solo at least 250 problems per chapter, okay? So I will be showing you in the class, we say 100 questions and two uh, 150 approximately you guys are supposed to solo from your end okay then you have increase the level that's what I already mentioned okay every type of problem pattern should be covered that we will be doing in this particular batch we'll be taking every single problem pattern whatever has the chances that these will be asked in the upcoming examination okay daily practice papers will be given to you okay chapter wise mock tests will be taken over here okay and with the analysis full length mock test every single thing this is the complete package for this particular batch so you can enroll the link is in the description below click on to that link and enroll because i don't want you guys to miss out any of the live classes which are starting from 16th of december okay so tests whatever is required for your knee 2025 everything will be in this particular batch so make sure you like this particular video thank you so much guys take care and Bye-bye. See you guys very soon. Thank you.